responding in a thoughtful or careful way should a crisis erupt. Well, I spoke with Mr. Panetta last night and began by asking him whether he finds believable that report this week in the Wall Street Journal, which you heard referred to earlier in the show, that people in the intelligence community are withholding critical information from President Trump because they don't trust him. No, it's not. Uh, I, in my experience, uh, I have never uh, had uh, intelligence uh, officers who have a responsibility to provide uh, full information to the president and to other leaders in the country ever withhold a piece of intelligence. So uh, it's something that certainly hasn't occurred when I was there, and I doubt whether it's happened this time. If you were running the CIA, and you had an intelligence officer say, I have a sensitive piece of information, but it may be connected with this investigation that's going on with the current president, in particular Russia. This is the implication that was in the Wall Street Journal story that somehow, if anything, at least in that sphere, there is a concern about giving that to the president. Would you have a hesitation of giving that information to the president? Absolutely not, because your first responsibility is to provide the truth to the president. Uh, and if you start thinking about uh, how the president's going to use it, what he's going to do with that information, uh, then frankly, you'll never provide the truth to the president. And that's what intelligence officers are supposed to do. So if you were head of the CIA and you knew intelligence officers were doing this, would that be a fireable offense? Absolutely. I, I think any time an intelligence agency withholds vital information uh, to the president, or withholds any key information to the president, that's a violation of their oath.